Hi guys, Gavin Little from Little IT here, bringing you another useful and informative video. Today I'm going to provide another instructional video on how to create a signature and a hyperlinks signature directly on your iPad using the Pages app. Now there are the various ways that you can create a signature. You can create it directly on your computer using your Mac or your PC um, and your word processing application like Microsoft Word. You can create the signature within there and you can copy that signature. And then assuming you have your email set up on your computer, you can then paste the signature into your email, send yourself that email, and then copy that signature from your email on your iPad into the settings signature area. But as I said, today I'm going to show you how to do it all directly from your iPad. So the first thing you need to do is download the Pages application if you haven't got it already. It's free. All you have to do is jump on into the App Store app on your iPad, search for Pages and download it. Okay, so we've downloaded the Pages application. So open the Pages app. On the top left hand side, click on the plus button and select create document. We just want to create a blank document. Now this is where we type in our signature. Okay, so I've typed in my signature. As you can see, by default, Pages recognizes website and email addresses. Now, if you wanted to create a hyperlink just based on text, what we'll have to do is select the text just hold down, push and hold down on the screen on the text and select. Now if we come across to the right hand side and click the plus button and select link. So that's now created a default hyperlink within pages. Now what we want to do now is we want to actually edit that default link because that'll just be going to the Apple website. So what we're going to do is just press on the link as you can see there, it's going to www.apple.com forward slash UK. So if, what we need to do is click on link settings and we need to change that address here. Just click in the link area and we can change that address. Once we're done, just click on done. Now, as I said, pages will automatically detect an address, whether it be a website or email, and it will create the link automatically for you. So we just want to check the two, the website and my email address, and just make sure they're actually correct. So again, if we just click on the link, and as you can see there, it's going to the right side address. Again, if it's not correct, we just click on link settings, click in the link area, and then we can change it. Click off that. Just click anywhere in the page to deselect the website address, and we click in the email link, and again, as you can see, mail to gavin at littleit.net.au. So once we've done creating the signature, we want to select the whole signature and then copy that into the settings on the mail application. So if we just, again, press down on the text and select all and copy. Now, we want to open up the settings area where we can go and insert or paste this, the new signature that we've created. So what I'm doing here, I'm just double clicking on the, the home button and it displays all the various applications that I've currently got open. So if I go into settings, now all I've done here is gone into settings, scroll down, select mail, scroll down the list under composing heading, you want to find signature. Select Signature. Now if we just press in the text box area, uh, in this case we want to delete the existing text. Now we want to paste what we have copied. So if again, if we just push down in, on the screen, brings up the menu and we select Paste. And it's pasted that signature in. It doesn't show you that it's hyperlinked, but it is hyperlinked. So we're done from that point of view. So now we want to test that and we want to go into the mail application and open up a new email and send a test email to ourselves just to make sure that it's all working okay. 
So if we go into the Mail app, on the top right hand corner, select the new email button. Type in the email address that we want to send it to and hit send. Okay, so we've sent the email. So as you can see there, the website address and the email address are both hyperlinked, which is great. Now, if we want to test it out just to make sure it's going to the right place, just click on link in this case the website and it opens up the website address which is great so that's it guys that's how you create an email signature with hyperlinks directly from your ipad using the pages app and default ios mail application don't forget to leave me a like and leave a comment and hopefully i'll be back soon with another useful and informative video. Cheers.